These Samsung fridges have been known to freeze up, especially in the crisper. I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Keep watching the video. How's it going guys? It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com. On this channel, we do product reviews, do-it-yourself videos, vacation videos, and much, much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I'm going to open up this fridge and show you what's going on inside. This works for many different models of the Samsung fridges. And I'll just open up and I'll show you what's going on. So you can just see the ice is built up all at the bottom here. I'll actually pull out one of these drawers and you can see for yourself. So there you go. It's completely water and ice. And the reason for this, without getting too much into it, which you'll see later in this video, is the drain pipe freezes. There's a little metal piece. There's uh, The fridge naturally has one little uh, like spout down going down the drain and it's not enough to keep the, the water in the tubes from freezing. So there's a part and it's available on Amazon and it has two little spikes and it allows the flow of water down the drain pipe. So I'm going to get into that in a little bit. This fridge model, uh, it's a RF197AC rs now that's this fridge model but i have watched other youtube videos and there's multi multi videos of different samsung fridges that are doing the exact same thing some are even freezing in the freezer compartment so first thing i'm going to do and this is a great tip you can just change the part right now and that's fine but it's not going to fix the drain pipe. So I'm going to do that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear any food that is going to go bad. I'm going to put it somewhere else. I'm going to unplug the fridge for almost 24 hours so that the ice will thaw out and go down into the drain pan down below the fridge. We want to make sure that before we do anything, we repair anything, we want to make sure that that's going to, that drain pipe is going to be free and clear and it's going to drain into the uh, pan. Um, and then we'll get into how to repair this. So that's the first step. I'm going to unplug it and then uh, we'll be back. So we've allowed the fridge to defrost 24 hours. Actually, it wasn't even 24 hours, um, but we're ready to take off the back panel. So I've emptied the contents in the fridge, removed the shelves, they just slide out. Uh, and here you'll see the uh, back panel. This is with the, uh, the twin cooling fan. Uh, so what you need to do is there's a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver and you need to remove two screws here. And then you need to take this cap off and there'll be a Phillips screw uh, behind this one. So we'll just start off by taking this, just use a knife or anything just to get in there. And we're gonna pop this uh, cap off like so. And then there'll be a Phillips screwdriver uh, screw in here. So we're just going to use uh, that and uh, unscrew that. Now that the screws are removed, you're gonna to have to pull this panel off from the back of the fridge. You wanna be very careful. You don't wanna to use too much force. You wanna work your way around and you'll feel it uh, popping out. Also keep in mind, there's gonna be an electrical connection uh, that you're gonna to have to disconnect, which will be the fan. And you'll see that once you get enough of the panel out, you'll be able to disconnect that to remove the panel fully. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here and just uh, start pulling and just working my fingers behind and you can see it popping out a bit. Okay, just put a little pressure. I just like to put my fingers behind it and use my thumb just to put a little pressure against the back wall there. Okay, just be careful. Now there's uh, some styrofoam back here. You just want to make sure you don't uh, destroy that. Okay, there we go. Now. It's hard to see on camera what I'm going to do, but behind here, there's going to be uh, a clip. And I'll see if I can uh, get that out to show you. Okay, no, it doesn't look like. So on the left side here, there's a plug that goes into the board. 
and I'll show you what happens there when I take that off. Okay, I've got the one, so here's the uh, the one clip, and there's another one like so. Okay, so now that the back panel is off, I'm just going to show you what actually is going on um, the back here which is causing it to freeze so along here was a huge buildup of ice so this is actually the part that heats up and this little metal piece it wasn't even sticking in this was a factory defect right from the very beginning um, from samsung and i know they have failed to admit that there's actually a problem but uh, luckily enough it's an easy fix you don't need to call a repair guy this is supposed to heat up, this transfers heat onto this little clip. And this clip sits down into the drain here. So that's supposed to defrost and prevent ice buildup, which it doesn't do very well. What ends up happening is this freezes up and causes water to trickle down. And that's where you get the ice and water buildup underneath the crisper uh, and also in the uh, freezer there. So this, uh, I've got a part. Um, I've got a double pack from Amazon. I'm also going to leave a link down below so that you guys can purchase this as well in order to fix your uh, fridge. And uh, as you can see from there, I'll just open it up. Let's see what we got here. So here, you can see it's much more efficient it's uh, a lot larger so this is going to i'm going to remove the old one this is going to go over the uh um the wire here and of course it's going to conduct a lot more heat because it's a lot more larger and you can also see the length of this one versus this clip here this is only uh maybe an inch long this is going to go right down the drain and this will definitely prevent uh, water and ice buildup um, so first thing you want to do you definitely want to make sure that you're ready to begin installing this part you have to make sure that nothing in your drain is uh, still frozen to do this just take a, a little cup of water and i'm just going to pour it down i want to make sure that the ice is melted down in the uh, drain hose and uh, and it's actually going down to the uh, under the fridge there's a little box and that's going to catch uh, the water and it evaporates so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some water and I'm gonna watch and listen to make sure that it's uh, draining okay and the water is draining and I heard it uh, drain down to the box so I know that uh, nothing is obstructing the drain so that uh, this install uh, will work uh, if you don't do that and you install this clip right away but the, your um, your hose is blocked then it's going to be ineffective so first thing I want to do is I just want to move this clip out of the way so I can uh, it's riveted on um, some fridges may have rivets some may not um, I've seen some where they're just been able to unclip so I'm gonna have to grab uh, a tool here just to uh, bend and cut this off in order so I can uh, install the new one all right so I'm just using a pair of uh, little grips or anything you might have and it, it's uh, it's only weak uh, aluminum so I'm just uh, prying the rivet off and that should come free here. Just make sure you get all the pieces from it. And that's uh, that's the old clip versus the new clip. <laughs> Huge difference. Okay, so to install the new one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this in position here. I think I'm going to have to um, drop that down into the so that you actually can get that in. So I'm just dropping that down. I'm going to pull it. Uh, pull this back up just behind it a little bit okay and what I want to do is get this around so I can clip it like so that's it that's all there is to it such a cheap part on Amazon that fixes all your problems and really that's all you have to do now this is uh, totally gonna work it's conducting a lot more heat um, throwing that heat down this metal piece down into your drain tube so you won't have any ice build up here the water uh, condensation water will just keep flowing down now I'm just gonna give the fridge a cleanup and I'm gonna uh, install the back piece okay so 
Now we're finished with the clip that we installed. We're ready to put the back panel, uh, the fan back on. So just don't forget to connect the uh, your connections for your power. That's the first thing you gotta do before you uh, push the back panel up again. So I'm just gonna get this up fairly close. Might be a little hard for you to see. So I'm just gonna just hold this here and I'm just gonna start plugging these back into the board, starting with the, uh, the top one. I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, so that's plugged in. Just be careful not to drop it and uh, clip the wires. Okay, so line everything up and you'll know, give it a little bit of a push and you'll see it uh, falling into place. Just check to make sure that uh, the clips at the sides are going in. You might just have to push in a little bit just to flex it. Okay, like so. Now I'm ready to screw it in. I'm gonna start off with the, uh, the middle screw. Okay. Screws are in. I'm just gonna put this uh, last final clip in just to protect the screw. And that's it. Now that the screws are in, the last thing to do is just put the uh, cap that protect the screw piece in and that just presses into place like so. And that's it. So the only thing left to do is just give this a quick wipe down, put the shelves back in, and I can continue using the fridge. I'm going to leave a link down below. Don't forget, if you need that part to do your own repair for the fridge, that will definitely work for you. So just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Share the video. Like the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have the same issue and if this worked for your fridge as well. See you next time from JeffLapard.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.